and welcome to the fifth in an unknown number of podcasts. As we start the second week away from school, I think it's important to take some time to remember why it is that school has been closed and why we're not all there at the moment. A post that's doing the rounds on social media at the moment uh, is this one. The virus doesn't move. People move it. We stop moving, the virus stops moving, the virus dies. It's that simple. Now, I'm no biologist, so I decided uh, to get in touch with Mrs. Riley. Uh, she's head of biology, and she confirms that uh, it's true. The virus is um, non-living. It needs a host to reproduce. Uh, the virus can't move on its own, and so it's only moved on or passed on by us as humans or by animals too. She goes on to add that uh, people can be um, asymptomatic, meaning that we can carry that virus and show no symptoms. And so um, you know, we could be passing it on to other people without knowing that we have it ourselves. It's important, therefore, that we continue following the guidance. Uh, we should be washing our hands for at least 20 seconds um, with soap. We should be keeping our distance if we happen to be out shopping or doing our daily exercises or helping vulnerable people, uh, staying two metres away. Uh, and obviously, if we're not out and about doing those things, we should be staying at home for as much as possible. It's helpful to reframe um, the statement, I can't go out, as I'm staying in to save lives. I think in these selfie-obsessed times when people are thinking about me, 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 it's worth trying to uh, think of other people. And actually, it's, it's a, a collective responsibility that we have to look after everybody that we know. So as we start this second week away from school, I think it's important to get back into routines again. Uh, I wonder how many people have started to stay up a little later and wake up a little later in the mornings. Um, it is an odd time because it's, uh, it's not the holidays, but we are away from school. Uh, I think it's important to maintain those routines. Um, so going back to the advice given from last week, uh, students, if you try to follow your timetable as much as you can, uh, sticking to those subjects that you'd know you'd have on a particular day, uh, and completing the work that as ever is being set on MS Teams. Um, somebody got in touch, one of the students, saying that a top tip uh, to try to um, separate school work from being at home is that they've been completing the school work while wearing their school uniform. Uh, once the school workers finish, they get changed into their own clothes. Uh, and I think you know, it may be something that helps you. Uh, it may be something that helps you to uh, focus on the fact that we, we're having to separate ourselves from school time and home time as well. Uh, Mrs. Dawson, she got in touch as well. Um, going back to if you're trying to uh, be in touch or get in touch with your friends during a break time or during a lunch time. Uh, she's recommending an app called House Party. I'm sure there are other apps available out there that do that kind of thing where you can um, get in touch with your friends and be able to see each other and not just talk um, on the phone. Now, you'll remember that on Friday, we called it Fun Fact Friday, and there were a number of questions from um, Dr. Britton, Mr. Foster, and Mr. Barber. Um, sorry to have kept you waiting all weekend for the answers, although some of you may have been working on them over the weekend. Um, but h here are the answers now. So the first question came from uh, Mr. Barber, and he asked, according to Wikipedia, the NHS is the world's fifth largest employer. What organisations occupy the places above the NHS? Well, in first place, uh, we have the US Department of Defence. In second place, the People's Liberation Army. In third place, Walmart. In fourth place, McDonald's, leaving the NHS in fifth place. Uh, Mr. Foster's question, which four words in common usage end with the letters D-O-U-S? And the answers are hazardous, horrendous, stupendous, and tremendous. 
uh, listed there in alphabetical order. I'm sure there'd be interesting things that we can tell about people depending on the order that they came up with those uh, words. The next question came from Dr. Britton. Uh, Batmania, or Batmania, is the former name of which city? It was named after one of its founders, John Batman, and the answer is Melbourne, Australia. Moving on to the final question, uh, there were five letter words, and they had the second and fourth letters removed. What were the following words? Uh, the first one, B blank, A blank, O, is bravo. The second word, E blank, U blank, L, is equal. The third word, K blank, I blank, E, is knife. Fourth, I blank, L blank, O, is igloo. Uh, the next one, N blank, E blank, E, was niece. And finally, D blank, I blank, D, is dried. Bonus points for anybody who happened to notice that the first letters of all of those words spelt out be kind. I started the first podcast last week with a poem and so to conclude the first podcast of this week I go back to the same book Read Me and Laugh, a funny poem for every day of the year. Uh, I happened to, to turn to um, out of curiosity, what the poem would be for the 30th of March, and it's this. It wasn't me by Paul Cookson. Actually, as I read it, I'm starting to miss the conversations that I would have with students in school. Um, so I think as we start the second week away from school, it's nice to have a little reminder of some of those conversations that I'm sure all um, teachers at Nutswood Academy will have had at some point with somebody. So this is It Wasn't Me by Paul Cookson. It wasn't me, sir. Honest, sir. It wasn't me, sir. It was him. I wasn't with him. Honest, sir. It was definitely him, sir. But I definitely wasn't with him. Honest, sir. Honest, sir. I'm telling the truth. It wasn't me. It was him, sir. It can't have been me, sir. I wasn't with him. Honest, sir. I was quite near him, though. And so concludes uh, today's podcast. More tomorrow. And until then, be kind, take care, and stay safe.